Now, our next guest, Donna Florio, is a lifelong resident of Bank Street, a six-block street in the heart of New York City's Greenwich Village. Growing up in such an iconic area with celebrity neighbors ultimately inspired her to create her new memoir, Growing Up Bank Street. So, Donna, how did you come to write your memoir? Was this something you had always planned to do? You know... (laughs) It was home, okay? Home was my mother, the opera singer, going, and my father, the director, moving all our lights around because he was sensitive. He never liked the lights. He always had to change the light. And then upstairs, there were more opera singers. And past them, there was a poet. And across the street was the real Auntie Mame, who, believe me, was more than that book could possibly make her. So these were just the people of my life. I didn't think they were fabulous or different. It was little Donna's life. Um, Today, Bank Street is so different. I mean, you wouldn't even recognize it. In fact, you did a tour for us to introduce us to uh, a little Bank Street's history. Let's take a look. All my life, Bank Street neighbors have found their way into my heart and my writing. At 11 Bank, artist Yeffy Kimball and physicist Harvey Slayton were spied on by a famous Broadway actress while sharing their place with a very lively ghost. At One Bank, Stella Crater was at the center of one of the biggest sex scandals in U.S. history. Then there was the time my neighbors, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, came by and I accidentally soaked them with water from the window. It was here at 105 Bank that the FBI slipped deportation papers under their door. My beloved babysitter, Marion Tanner, the real Auntie Mame, here at 72 Bank, taught me to open my heart to those in need. My friend Billy Joyce threw fabulous dinner parties right here on the sidewalk at 113 Bank. With china, crystal, cloth napkins and all. Poet Langston Hughes brought the Harlem Renaissance to 23 Bank. Hollywood actor Theodore Bickell lived here, while Rex Harrison, his co-star in My Fair Lady, was carrying on with a famous actress right across the street. How delicious it might have been if Theodore Bickell had seen Rex Harrison tiptoeing down the steps of that actress's apartment. Politician Bella Abzug fought for women's rights and gay rights and fought with my father a lot, too. Lifelong friends and famous actors, the Guilfords and the Bravermans, unofficially adopted me and I them. They all lived here at Bank and Abingdon Square. And in 1979, right here on the 63 Bank Street stoop, I was ambushed by reporters. Did you know that uh, Vicious was staying here? Yeah, I did. And found out on camera that my neighbor, Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols had just overdosed on heroin across the hall. In good times and bad, Bank Street has provided me with stories, lessons, and adventures. It feels amazing to still live at 63 and share these stories with the world in my book, Growing Up Bank Street. Wow, I did not realize that so many fascinating people have lived on Bank Street. What do you want people to take away from this book? Every street is a bank street, okay? Everyone has neighbors. All I really did was open my eyes and my ears and my heart and listen to people, okay? That is something you can do anywhere, anytime, okay? Be open to the people around you. They might have magic. So... What I want to say, Justine, is that the stories of Bank Streeters are really the stories of America itself. Thank you so much for sharing your Bank Street story with us, Donna. Where can we go for more information? I have a Facebook website, Donna Florio Author, and it has contact information on it. And feel free to come and join the party.